There's exactly 30 days left now until millions of South Koreans head to the polls to elect their next president. According to the latest opinion polls, it's still remarkably close between the two frontrunners, the candidates from the ruling party and the main opposition party. Watchers say young voters and the remaining debates could be the key factors that push the pendulum one way or the other. Our political correspondent Lee gang reports. Five years on from the presidential election of 2017 held early due to the impeachment of then-President Park Geun-hye. That year, the Democratic Party rode to victory on a wave of support for political reform. Now the DP will seek to stay in power and push ahead with his agenda, while the conservative bloc is looking to make a comeback. At this point, the winner is uncertain. Polls suggest around 50 percent of South Koreans support a change of government. But at the same time, the incumbent President Moon Jae-in has an approval rating above 40 percent, which is higher than any previous leader when they left office. Plus, there's no candidate with a clear lead. The two frontrunners, Lee Jae-myung of the ruling DP and Yoon song yeol of the main opposition People Power Party, are seeing intensifying competition. Chasing behind them is An Chol Su of the minor opposition People's Party, but is seemingly showing a decline after hitting 15 percent at one point. Shim Sang Jung of the Justice Party shows the lowest ratings among the four main candidates. A clue may be found in who people think is more likely to win, as that indicates the general feeling among respondents, families, and friends as well. But that's also highly uncertain, having recently shifted in Yoon's favor. Adding to uncertainty are young adults aged 18 to 39 who take up 30 percent of voters. They are seen as pragmatic voters who lack political allegiances and make their decisions based on their own interests. These young voters are hard to win over, and polls suggest that this age group has the biggest number of undecided voters. There are also centrist voters to consider who show similar tendencies to young voters, having no clear preference towards either the liberal or conservative bloc. In other words, these swing voters will likely to make their decisions based on policies and the candidates' moral issues. And that raises the sex in the debates. The first televised debate was held last week. And more than 70 percent of voters say that debates will affect their decision. The figure goes up to 80 percent for voters in their 20s and 30s. In another survey, one out of four people actually said they might change their mind after watching the debate. And there will be at least three more debates required by law after the candidates are officially registered next week. Young Arirang News.